If you already found a house and got your offer accepted only to find out while you are in the process of obtaining your mortgage, the interest rates keep climbing up and I wouldn't blame you if that keeps you up at night, my friend. In today's series, buying home tips during the rising interest rates, that is. Today, we'll talk about mortgage opportunities that are available and is gaining popularities with many buyers to avoid high interest rates and open the door for you to continue with buying a home instead of canceling the purchase agreement, canceling the purchase contract, and reverting back to renting and paying your landlord's mortgage. The specific mortgage product that I'm discussing with you today is the ARM or adjustable rate mortgage. We'll talk about what is an ARM or an adjustable rate mortgage, why are ARM so popular right now, and what are the risks buying a home with an ARM financing. But before we begin, let me just remind you that I'm not a mortgage broker or a mortgage banker. I don't imply or advise in favor or against this or any mortgage product, period. I am a New York and New Jersey licensed real estate broker. My name is Pierre Papulewski. I'm with Supreme Home Sales, and my goal is to educate you when it comes to making your home buying and home selling decisions. And so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, and like this video. Thank you so much for doing that. So what is an ARM or by definition an adjustable rate mortgage? It is a mortgage loan with the interest rate periodically adjusted based on the index which reflects the cost to the lender of borrowing on the credit markets. The loan may be offered at a lender's standard variable rate or a base rate. The way it works is that the initial interest rate is fixed for a period of time that is agreed upon as per the program that the lender offers. The advantages of an ARM loan is that initially the cost of the loan on a monthly payment basis is much lower than a fixed conventional 15 year or even a 30 year mortgage and it's because of the initial low interest rate that you would initially get with this loan. The two most common arms that lenders offer are the interest only payments arm loan and the payment option arm loans. The interest only arm loan works where you're only paying the interest only for a fixed time. Typically that's three to 10 years, but most commonly used now is the five years term loan. At the end of the term, you will be required to pay the principal and the interest moving forward. With the payment option arm loan, that is just like paying just the interest, but you also have an option of paying the principal plus interest, or you even have an option of paying the minimum payment due, which could sometimes be even less than the interest only payment alone. But the reason I like the payment option loan is I like to have the leverage and decide and to have the opportunity to pay into the principal and lower my principal balance if that's what I wish to do. So why all of a sudden are mortgages gaining popularity today? You guessed it, because the interest rates are so high and many buyers are forced to just exit out of the home buying market because they no longer have the ability and affordability to pay an extra monthly payment of an average of $600 a month with the new continuously rising interest rate. So it comes down to affordability issues. With home prices at record high and the rising interest rates doubled in just the last several months, homeownership is still in high demand, believe it or not. Many home buyers are getting into the adjustable rate mortgage, which allows for an affordable monthly payment despite a high monthly 
payment with a 30-year fixed mortgage which comes up to an average increase of additional $600 per month. And so what are the risks buying a house with our mortgages? The risk is you are actually taking a gamble into the future of where the interest rates will be in say five years from now. You're gambling for the rates to go down and the real estate market to continue to go up or at least at very least stay level. And so it's important to have a total evaluation of your personal financial stability now and the forecast of your financial stability into the future. If you can't afford a house at 4% conventional mortgage today, then don't get into an arm just to buy a house or buy a bigger house. But if your financial future looks good and only reason you're thrown out of the housing market is because of the recent quick interest rate hike and the inflation. Our mortgages might be a, a very good way to live the American dream of owning your own home. The ARM mortgages are quite different today than they were last time around in the 2000s. The biggest difference in my opinion is most of them matured in only one year and then most were approved for folks that could not afford any mortgages at all. And so when real estate market crashed in 2008, it left many homeowners underwater who couldn't afford to pay the increase of the monthly payment when their, our mortgages matured and the real estate market crashed and home values dropped tremendously. The environment is a lot different today, thank God since then. And so the likelihood of a real estate crash is unlikely and that is because there's a really huge shortage of inventory and there's still a lot of demand for homes and the home builders are not building as fast as they used to. And so if you do decide to explore going the arm way to buy a house and it works for you, I would consider to still pay the interest and add to the principal on a monthly basis. You don't want to get used to a very low monthly payment and then get hit with a huge increase in the future, even after you refinance. It will protect you in many ways. If you continue to add a payment towards your principal balance on a monthly basis and reduce your principal balance, which in turn increases your home equity. And so explore and be very cautious Ask your lender a lot of questions when you're talking to them. Read the fine print always. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications. I'm looking forward to see you on the next one.